And we've got Nicole Kestenbaum, who we actually see you online as Lipstick and Brunch. Your lipstick color is perfect. <laughs> and the places that you recommend on your Instagram, Facebook, all your social media sites, you are a wealth of knowledge, Nicole. Thank you so much, Dana. And thank you for having me here. And thank you for checking out my social media. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it's like a, it's a delight. And when I, I, I was talking to you before we started yes. up our podcast, I was sugar free for all these months. And when I saw your list of dessert galleries, I was like, where have I been all my life here in Houston? And you're relatively new to Houston, aren't you? I am. Tell us I, how it all started. Um, I moved here this year, 10 years ago, actually in August. I moved here in 2009 mm -hmm. and I came here and I got another degree. I had a bachelor's degree in communication and advertising and I started a degree in photography at HCC. All right. That was 10 years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, thanks to studying photography, I got an awesome internship at a magazine, a local magazine who is not uh, printing anymore because, you know, digital has taken over. Yes. But my background was always in print. I used to work at a newspaper back in Honduras where I'm from. So I was always identified with print. And I mean, you know how this has all developed like digitally. Yes. I had to transition as well. Uh -huh. And start the blog. All right. Yeah. Well, so, but before you did the blog, you were telling me a, a, an interesting story <laughs> yes. about the uh, six degrees of separation. We both know Rod <laughs> Ryan. He was your first photography. Yes. Um, oh, my God. Um, that's embarrassing. But so I was studying photography uh -huh. and my assignment was contact two local celebrities. Okay. And it was a challenge. We had to follow a certain format to contact these local celebrities. Uh, you know, the teacher gave us certain, um, certain, what do you call it? Like guidelines. Guidelines or, yeah. for the mm -hmm. assignment. So at that point, I used to hear a lot of Rod Ryan show in the morning right. with my husband. And I was a huge fan. We laughed a lot. We just liked the music. And he's like, why don't you contact him? And I'm like, Oh no. You know, they're they're like big jokesters, right? Like uh -huh. I'm like, I'm scared of going there. What if they don't like me or they're like, oh, you're too like girly to be taking photos here? But they were actually the nicest ever. And I can actually share that photo with you guys. You uh, should. That's <laughs> so funny. I want to see uh, it. I went in there, I was so freaked out. Um, and they let me take some pictures while they were doing the show. They just asked me, you know, to, you know, be a little quiet while they were doing the show in the morning. Right, right. Uh, I got a hundred on my assignment. And then I sent Rod Ryan and the team the pictures I had taken. I printed it out for them. So now, you know, like. That was a long time ago, like, I want to say like six or seven years ago. That is so cool, Like, so cool, proud, sending them a little album, printed out. <laughs> That's an amazing story. So from that, like, a touch with celebrity, you thought to yourself, wow, I've got something going on here. And you took your photography skills and kind of turned them into your social media? Yes, I was interning at this magazine where I got a job afterwards. And I was getting, I mean, I, I just a like $20 for my work, just for a page of photography, mm -hmm. which was very little. And I'm like, how am I going to make a living off of this? Right. Um, how am I going to make a living off of like working at a print magazine? So I just started to put everything online. There was a lot of content that I was covering for the magazine, like meeting the Kardashians, meeting Tommy Hilfiger. And I had pictures of all of this wow. that I started to put online that were not getting printed in the magazine because they were doing their own blog as well. So I'm like, let me just put everything that I'm doing on the side for them that doesn't get published on a blog and see what happens. And I was really consistent with it. I have a background in photography. Like I value like the quality of my photography and my advice and recommendations. And I just really kept consistent. And it snowballed from there. Wow. Yeah. Now, you came up with the name. When did that happen, <laughs> Lipstick and Brunch? So it first started as a blog only for beauty or like certain events. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, you know, I'm limiting myself. I am more than just beauty and events. I love fashion. Um, as you mentioned, that you noticed my outfits and You've all that. You've got a, the most adorable skirt, <laughs> great T-shirt, and you've even got your iHeartRadio heart earrings on. Who even has these earrings? <laughs> this is not on purpose. They're but beautiful. Yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you. So then I started sharing everything, right? Mm -hmm. I started to share aff affordable styles for curvy women and colorful styles for curvy women because sometimes curvy women are told, you know, don't wear bold colors or wear black, you know? Right. Um, and I just started to put all of that out there and getting really good feedback. The pictures are amazing. Your Thank swimsuits, you. your little uh, rompers that you're wearing, all the pictures you. with your husband and your little boy. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. I, I take a lot of pride in like, I, I work with various photographers now. I'm not only taking photos, but now I have a few photographers that I work with. And I really enjoy talking about what we're going to do in the photo shoot, where we're going to shoot, how we're going to do it, like all that process of, you know, pre-production. I, I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your blog, yes. uh, Lipstick and Brunch. Did you come up with the idea? Did you have some of your, your followers come up with that idea? No, I actually... Um, when that was happening with the magazine where I was not feeling fulfilled, I started doing the blog. And I actually wanted to name it Beauty for Brunch because I'm a skincare junkie, a beauty junkie. I have, I collect, I, I try so many products, collect lipsticks, and the name was taken. Beauty for Brunch was uh, taken. Okay. And I started to come up with, okay, what can I call it? Beauty for Breakfast, Lipstick for Breakfast. Everything was taken. And all of a sudden, I came up with lipstick and brunch which i'm obsessed with lipstick i feel lipstick can really change how you look with one swipe yes. there's no skill uh sometimes people are scared of lipstick but the power of lipstick to make you feel and look great to me is uncomparable it's miraculous <laughs> yes and i loved houston's brunch culture mm -hmm. i discovered brunch here you know um it's a great time to socialize and make friends. And I was going to brunch a lot. So it just seemed like the perfect lifestyle name for a lifestyle blog. Yeah. So you come up with lipstick and brunch and you're sharing all of your experiences. Yeah. How do you come up with these experiences? I mean, you're you're going out here relatively new to Houston. Yes. You know more dessert places than I, when I looked <laughs> at your list. I'm like, where have I been? So tell us how. How are you getting this information? Is it the blog community? Are you out searching for it? Are places coming to you? I'm always curious to right. know. So I'm extremely curious. And even when I met my husband, I, I met my husband here in Houston. He's like, how do you know all these places? How do you come up with, with yes. all of this? <laughs> I am constantly coming up with ideas and researching. And I follow a lot of other Instagram accounts. I'm also, um, b because I've established myself as a blogger, we get a lot, we're lucky to get a lot of press releases and media release releases to new places. And we have the, the chance to go try them out before anybody else does. Um, I was telling you that a lot of the places I don't just stumble upon. We get invited to these uh, restaurant launches, dessert gallery launches. But you had to have enough followers in order to get that publicity, right? Yes, yes. In order to get the press releases and media releases, you have to be consistent. I mean, I consider myself a professional blogger. Mm -hmm. I do this every day. You'll see me posting on my social media every day. You'll see me posting like good quality photography and good information about Houston. And I was extremely curious and just hungry to get to know the place I lived. I mean, I am from Honduras. I would have never dreamed living in Honduras of going to a, of covering a Maroon 5 concert like I did, for example. Uh -huh. I was getting all these opportunities to do things I had never even dreamed of in my life. I just, I always just want to know more. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with Visit Houston because of my passion for Houston. And that's right. been one of like, the biggest full circles of my life because I've Houston has embraced me. You know, I was, I came here, no friends, no job. I didn't, I didn't have anything. Right. And I just, you know, gave, gave my all, put my photography out there, put my work out there. Um, and it's, that has been a full circle moment for me being able to work with, with That's them. That's incredible, Nicole. Yeah. Just such a great I've, story about our great city. <laughs> 
I love Houston. <laughs> I love that. Now, now, tell us about some of your favorite spots in Houston. I mean, you have ventured into areas that many of us might not know about. Beautiful, delicious areas in Houston. <laughs> oh, well, um, let's start with a dessert place because we were talking about that. Um, one of my favorite places in Houston is Fluff Bake Bar. Um, I love the chef that is over there because she comes up with the most innovative desserts you can imagine. Like, right now, this is a dessert bar in the Midtown yes, area. Yes, in the mm-hmm, Midtown mm-hmm. area. Uh, every time you go in there, uh, the desserts might change a little, but that's the exciting part. I have never tried anything there that has not blown me away. Um, wow. If you have to try one thing out, she makes this awesome white chocolate chip cookie with passion fruit that I am obsessed oh with. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so the fluff... Bake bar. Bake bar. Yes. In Midtown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To me, one of the most innovative dessert places. Close from there, if you still have a sweet tooth, um, there's a, there's another spot that is also Instagrammable. It feels like you're in Paris, like a little coffee shop in Paris is Café Poets. Have you been there? I have never heard of Café Poets. Oh, my God. And so, this is in Midtown also? Yes. So they have savory and sweet eclairs. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Nicole. And you have to preferably go there in the morning because you know they make them fresh sometimes they run out but the place i mean you're gonna be like where am i am i really still in houston that's incredible it's it's gorgeous i'm looking at a picture of it right now it looks like you're in a little place in france they did an amazing job with that place that is so, and you've got the <laughs> in, entire list yes of your that list is on my yes there. all right so you've got your desserts you've got, what about beauty i mean your outfits are adorable are you getting Thank these clothes you. in houston are you traveling afar <laughs> no i actually like to mix high and low fashions i don't want to say i spend a lot of money on clothes uh sometimes i'm lucky enough because I'm a blogger, to get clothes uh-huh. from brands that I like. Uh-huh. Um, it has to be a brand that I like and that I'm going to wear, though, because I, usually when I get clothes from a brand, I, I want to make sure that I'm going to be wearing them almost all the time. That's, you know, that's the only way to really uh, transmit that authenticity to your followers. We have had that commonality in all of our bloggers, these women who are oh, super cool. successful like you. It's transparency. It's authenticity. Yes. Because your followers can sense that. Of course. I mean, my followers know what I can afford. Uh, Usually the people that follow me can afford what I get. And I can see that through my affiliate links. Oh, they're going for my $20 dress that I have been wearing 10 times (laughs) this week. That's my audience. Or, Uh you know, but I'll invest more on a pair of shoes, for example. Uh, Or a great pair of jeans, which I know I can wear, wow, for years. Yeah. So... Definitely accepting, you know, clothes from brands. It has to be something that I'm going to be wearing all the time. Um, But I do shop online a lot. I like to go in store, try it on. If it works, I know my size. I shop online. That's what I do. It's the (laughs) best. It's just so easy. It is. Uh, And I have a a toddler now. So going to a store with a toddler and trying on clothes, not a good mix. (laughs) Now, I'm I'm just listening to you with all the things that you do. You are your your job now is to be a blogger, right? That's that's your job. And you do it every day. Yes. What is a day like in in Nicole's life? I'm always so curious to find out about daily habits as we try to achieve our goals. Our daily habits are really important. So first thing in the morning, what what is your day look like? So I definitely think uh, you need to have a routine, like do, I I don't want to sound boring, but try to do the same thing every day. Mm -hmm, (laughs) mm -hmm. Um, You know, I wake up early when my son wakes me up. (laughs) Like what time's early? We're up at 3.30 here. It's sunny. What's early for you? Now I'm embarrassed. Uh, (laughs) 7.30. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That's not early. Uh, 7, 7.30, um, I wake up, I make coffee, I prepare breakfast for my husband and I. We always make it a point to have breakfast together. By that time, my son is up. So the three of us, you know, spend time with each other before he heads off to work and I stay with my son. Um, and during that time in the morning... My mom helps me out a lot. Beautiful. Um, without my mom, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things now. 
because when my son was younger, I could just put him in his little crib and he would never cry when I was typing next to him. But now he needs a lot of attention as a two-year-old. So my mom helps me out. Uh, I write in the morning. I shoot photos. I edit photos. Um, I always have lunch with my husband as well during the week. And he comes over for lunch. I have lunch ready or, or he'll bring lunch over. Um, we try to keep it healthy so that we can keep going. <laughs> so you have the energy to <laughs> yes. keep up your crazy lifestyle. Um, and then luckily my, my baby goes down for a nap, which is my biggest chunk of free time, which is probably one or two hours mm -hmm. where, again, even if he's taking a nap, I'll probably have my mom come over and be like, okay, I need to run to the gym and I need to get an errand or I need to go to the supermarket, do anything that I have to do outside the house, leave him with my mom, or I just stay home and keep writing uh, my blogs and taking photos for those two hours. But my mom has been super helpful at this stage right now where he's walking. And if not, I wouldn't be able to keep doing my blog like I have been. I'm actually surprised I've been able to keep going mm -hmm. with a walking toddler <laughs> it's like it's meant to be this is your time now <laughs> yes right um and you know i try to always squeeze in some downtime at the end of the day you know watch a reality show or... what's your favorite reality <laughs> show oh my god it's such a guilty guilty pleasure you're doing the bachelor bachelor in paradise so i have not seen bachelor in paradise yet because i was in Europe when that started mm -hmm. but I did watch The Bachelorette guilty pleasure number one The Bachelorette Ugh. and then I love the New York Housewives yeah <laughs> you know it's funny a lot of our bloggers do not watch TV you're the first one who's like a normal lady who's watching these these <laughs> reality shows well I need some like that's my downtime yes I need to disconnect and not think about my blog and my social media or I'll go out I mean I love my reality TV, but sometimes we go out with my husband, no phones, and let's take a walk with the baby. Yeah. But I need to like do something that helps me disconnect, just like the gym. Like the gym helps me just like stay away from social media. You can't be yes. doing social media and doing kickboxing. So <laughs> I love that. Uh, now, ha tell me about your followers and how how yes. can we start following you? Where where are you? I, I I'm sure you're everywhere. <laughs> Almost. Um. I'm on Facebook. Okay. On Facebook, I am Lipstick and Brunch, and you'll find it under Lipstick and Brunch Lifestyle Blog by Nicole. You'll see, like, the whole title. Uh, and you can follow me there. I post every day on each platform whatever events I found out, great sales going on, uh, new restaurants you should check out or dessert places, uh, latest in beauty. I am also on Instagram as Lipstick and Brunch, on Twitter as Lipstick Brunch, on Pinterest as lipstick and brunch. <laughs> Where else? I you're, think that's I, I, I it. You're everywhere. <laughs> you have to check out Nicole because honestly, if you think you know the city of Houston, you don't when you go to your sites and see Thank all you. these little beautiful little places and things that you've discovered because of your curiosity. Thank you. Yeah, I really try to keep it curated. I don't post everywhere that I go there. I just post my favorite places. Like I... My blog is like I'm talking to my best friend. I want to recommend the best. I want to give you the best tips, the hacks. Um, it's it's just like talking. Like what advice would you give your best friend? That is the only thing I am putting out there. Our Houston women bloggers are incredible. <laughs> you have really delighted us in the, it's Thank like you. you're serving the city. You Thank really you. are great <laughs> ambassadors for our city. And I just get so much joy talking to you and finding out all your little secrets because it's so fun. Yeah, it's it's so fun. The Houston blogger community is amazing. I've I've heard it not only from you, a fellow Houstonian, but I've heard it from other people from other states. I'm like, yes, we are. We We are such a tight knit community and we're really passionate about what we do. Well, we are so glad to have you, Nicole. It was so great to meet you. Lipstick and brunch. Yes. Check her out everywhere. I promise you, you will not be sorry. Oh, I totally forgot to mention, I have a website. Go to, what's, and your website is? <laughs> is lipstickandbrunch.com. That is my, you know, that is where you'll find everything. A lot more details um, about the outfits, the beauty, step by step. So check it out. Excellent. Yeah. Lipstick and, and brunch.com. Brunch Excellent. Yeah. You're the best. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Dana. This was awesome. <laughs>